Okay, broadly speaking, you have two forms of stress, acute stress and chronic stress. Acute stress, nothing new to the species, nothing new to any animal. You're a gazelle, you man your own business, a pack of lions comes chasing you, you run off, another gazelle gets eaten, that's not you or anyone you know, and you're happy as Larry again, you go into rest and repair. Acute stress is something most of us can take on our stride because that is our evolution. In acute stress, your prefrontal gets knocked offline and your amygdala takes over, you live another day, you start to feel safe again and your prefrontal comes back online and it starts to pick up doing the more complicated thing again because when you're safe, that is generally the better part of your brain to be in control. Chronic stress is a very different kettle of fish. Chronic stress wreaks havoc in your brain and your body. It starts to dysregulate everything. And you know because you feel awful. You feel anxious all the time. You feel shut down. You can't make decisions. You can't focus. You can't pay attention to anything. You can't watch a film. You can't future think. That's because your prefrontal is turning into a bit of a slug. Chronic stress actually kills off the cells in your prefrontal. Don't worry grows back but what starts to happen is your prefrontal gets weaker and weaker and your amygdala is getting to the gym your amygdala does the quicker thing but the simpler things getting stronger and stronger and around and around you go and it gets worse and worse and worse that is chronic stress and i'm sure many of you've experienced it in your life and it's not very nice and it feels a bit chaotic because your brain is in a bit of state of chaos acute stress generally is okay chronic stress is the real kicker chronic stress is not good for your brain but you can get it turned off and when you get it turned off your prefrontal will rebuild will repair now what is one of the key ingredients to stopping stress well what sets your stress system off threat and then we follow the logic what will turn your stress system off when it's turned on safety when you get to a state of safety that is when your prefrontal can rebuild it's just something to think about okay bye